Hi you guys, um, this is going to be a kind of quick um, video, but I just wanted to show you guys some um, swatches and some products that I picked up today. Um, I picked up two of the Guerlain new quads. I already have three of them, um, and if you want to see those, let me know in the comments. Um, the new YSL uh, Quint, I guess, for fall. Um, one of the new colors, oh, okay, whatever, I shouldn't tell you everything, I'll just show you. Um, I'm going to start with the shoe stuff, and I actually um, depotted them and put them into two um, quads. One of them is blush, and one of them is eyeshadows. I'll start with the blush. Um, these, I don't know if you're going to be able to, to tell yet. Yeah, you can see the huge like gouges I made in them. That's because they come in containers like this. And I didn't realize that there were dots. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, that you have to like stick a pen or something through to pop it out. So I was trying to like pop it out from the edges. And so I kind of messed them up. But anyways, the colors that I have are... Well, I don't know which one is which. But one of them is M Pink 30 and the other one is M Pink 31. My guess is that this one is 31 and that this one's 30. And this one is just a really great highlight shade. And then this one um, is matte and just really bright pink. It's what I have on my cheeks already. Um, it's just really nice and glowy. Um, so I really like that. And I also like that these have mirrors in them. Um, so the little ones, they hold two blushes or four eyeshadows, and so I do have one with four eyeshadows. I don't have any of the shoe shadows, so I just kind of picked up, like, the kind of colors that I use all the time. So I'm going to try and tell you which ones these are, and hopefully I can do this right. Okay. First of all, this one is M.E. Brown 850 is this one, and this is the really famous taupe color that everybody talks about and it is really really gorgeous um and then I have P pink 110 which is obviously this kind of like pinky base highlight shade um ah uh, okay and then I have ME purple 700 which is this color, and I know I'm wearing the same top, I just love this shirt, I have it, two of them. Um, so you can't really tell, let me see if I swatch it, you can tell. It's just kind of like a metallic purpley color, um, which is just really pretty, and I really like purples. Um, and then the last one is P Purple 781, although, honestly, like, I don't think this color is that purple, I'll show you. It's more of like a brown, um... I think that these two are going to look really, really amazing together, especially because this one's, it has, this one has sparkle in it, but it's kind of matte. So there you go. There are those two together. Um, I'm really impressed with these so far. I've only swatched them, but they're really pigmented, really smooth color, so I can't wait to wear them. Um, so that was all I got at Chew. And then um, at Guerlain, I was actually picking up a couple of um, lipsticks for a friend of mine. But I just can't stay away from these quads. I have three of them already. I have the blue, I mean, I have the, the fumes, the grays, the grease, and the greens, I think, are the ones I have. And then the ones I picked up today are... This is the Pearls, which is by far my favorite. I'll just show you guys. Okay, so I already swatched this, but it looks like this. And most of the quads are done by colors. This one is one of the, I think it's the only one done by texture. First of all, these are just gorgeous compacts. Um, and the swatches are kind of wearing off my hand already. And you can kind of only see the, um, it's right here. Um... But the pink and the white are pretty close. I mean, one's obviously pink and one's obviously white. That's this one and this one. Um, this purple is really the only color you can still see. 
And then this color is like the prettiest, it doesn't, it's not even showing up like taupey, but it's this gorgeous shimmery kind of silvery taupe color, um, which I'm so excited to use like all over the lid. And then the other one I got is the purples. Um, and the swatches have kind of rubbed off my hand, so I'll just do finger swatches for you guys. Um, and they come in these little velvet things, which gets dirty so fast, but it's really good for keeping fingerprints off of these. And, okay, so the purples, it's like this. And I'll just show you. Here's the lightest color, this top one right here. And then I'll just do this, this one. So there's that color. Here's the first one. Um, here's the only, like, sh one that's got shimmer in it. And then, here's kind of the dark matte. So you can see, they all work really well together. Um, and I love purples, so this was kind of a no-brainer for me. Hold on, I should have grabbed wipes before I did this. Oh well. Um, then I stopped at YSL to pick up another lipstick for a friend, but they had some of the fall collection in, including the only thing that I was like hunting after, which is the um, five color harmony for eyes. And this one's number 11. Um, it's new for the fall. Can you see how gorgeous these colors are? Let me swatch the green one again on my hand just so that because all the other swatches are just fine this quad is I mean I guess it's not a quad it's a quint whatever this is amazing these colors are just perfect the colors are right here so here's the hold on let me take the applicators out so you guys can see this I hate that they do this. I don't use them for anything but swatching, and I'd rather swatch with my hands. Okay. So, you see the... I don't know how I'm going to do this. There we go. Okay. So, here's the light green right here. And then you have the light purple next to it. And then kind of the... The this purple color over here which is right here and then you have the kind of dark burgundy brown color and then you have the most amazing can you see that green shadow what you can't see though is that there's tons of like hold on let me see there's tons of like aqua shimmer running through it and it is so unbelievably gorgeous like if you're contemplating getting it or you know get it like really especially if you're cool toned this is definitely a more cool toned colors although the kind of green and the burgundy I think would work on any skin tone but this is amazing I'm looking forward to using this and I know I'm gonna get so much use out of it um then also while I was there I really just meant to go buy lipsticks and then got distracted um this is one of the new nail lacquers that's limited edition. Let me take the top off so it's not glary. Um, and I actually swatched it on one finger for you guys, but I have really bad lighting, so it's going to look black. This is like a dark teal with like lighter teal, like iridescence to it. I don't know. This is one of the most gorgeous nail polishes I've ever seen. Not only that, but it applies like a dream. I've never owned a YSL nail polish. Um, and this, hold on. At first, I was a little worried about the, like the wand is really long. But it's, the formula is amazing. It's super opaque. This is one coat. No top coat. Um, the rest of my nails are really messed up. I obviously need to paint them again. Um... This is, and I should probably tell you what color this is, if I could tell. Um, 43 is the number. Um, so if you like dark colors, but you don't want them to be too dark, I definitely recommend them. There's also a really nice midnight blue that I might go back and get. So that's that. I picked up two of the new Rouge Volupte Pearls, 
which I'm so happy because they put the colors back on the the little bands which were not on the original Pearl release. release. Um, so I have number 107 and 108. 107 is the peachy one and it's what I have on my lips right now. And these are not so frosty. Like the original pearls were really frosty. Hold on, there's this one. They're, these are just more sheer and smooth and they do have a little bit of sparkle but it's not like 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 1980s frosty and then this one is probably my favorite and it's 108 and it's just like lilac-y like pink color and these two actually look really good combined together so there's 108 and 107 um again I highly recommend these <laughs> um and then the last thing I bought is one of the new Tushy Clot. I use these all the time. I don't think I've actually talked about them in videos just because it's one of those things that like I always have in my bag with me, especially for like touch-ups during the day or like my my under my eyes is really dry and I use moisturizers and eye creams and all sorts of stuff. But over throughout the day it gets drier and as it starts to dry my concealer kind of cakes up. These are really great for like throwing in your purse and doing touch ups, etc, etc. Um, and this is actually a new color and it's in the color, it's 1.5. I usually use two. This one, you're really not going to be able to tell. Here, let me swatch it. Um, is much more yellow than the two. It's right here. You're not really going to be able to see it, I don't think. Yeah, it's much yellow, so it's really much more yellow. So it's really great for under eyes and things of that nature. I actually have it on right now. Um, and my circles are really dark, so the fact that you can't tell at all is really nice. Um, and I think that's all I picked up. Um, at Shu, well, at Guerlain, they gave me some samples of their um, Orchid Imperial line. So I have the the cream and the eye and lip cream and then this is their super aqua serum so I'm going to be giving those a try um, I'm going on a vacation to Greece soon I'm going to be in Crete for a week so I'll probably take a bunch of this stuff with me to kind of trial like all the stuff I have sample sizes of um, and then at Shu they gave me a bunch of samples of their um, eh, makeup oil, which I love. Um, like I said, I usually use the pink one, which is for sensitive skin, but I really like the original one too. Um, and I've been using the NARS one, um, which is working fine, but I always say they're going to be short videos and they always end up being so long. The only other thing that I got is like a deluxe size of the Shu Umera Deep Sea Hydrability Moisturizing Cream. And I got another one of these when I was picking up some lashes and stuff um, a couple weeks ago so um, I really like the smell of this and I tried it on my hand and it sinks in really fast but it's really moisturizing so I'm also definitely going to be taking this with me and that is all for now um, I'm also going to do an update on BB cream shortly probably not today it'll probably be tomorrow um, I've used almost all of them now. There's definitely some standouts. I'm actually just wearing one today. And my skin looks absolutely flawless. And I'll just give you a heads up. It's the um, Holika Holika Petite BB. And it's the clearing one. Um, and it's definitely the standout of the group for me so far. But um, keep a lookout for that. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.